I'm fine. Thanks for having me. Um, certainly, certainly. It's a pleasure. Uh, what is the question for Rabbi today? My, my question for the Rabbi is, is in, in so, some of these lectures, certainly, you mentioned certainly. That it's a pleasure. Uh, what is the question uh, for Rabbi today? My, my, my question, question for the nine, Rabbi is, is some six. the uh, Rabbi has mentioned that um, in the Hebrew, in the past tense, well, I've heard Christians respond with that um, the rabbi is acknowledged something known as the prophetic. So the Christians justify the translation of things. He shall be called a wonderful counselor, mighty God, uh, oh. etc. So I'd like to know what the rabbi has to say about that, please. Okay. Uh, it, it did break up a little bit, but I think I got your question. Rabbi, did you catch that as well? Yeah, I sure did. I sure okay. did. And I'll explain the question. It's not a problem. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Zakir, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Salam alaikum, brother. <clears throat> okay, guys, please invite your friends. Peace of Christ to all of you. Let us get this hypocrite uh, scum back busted. He is a person who lives in Indonesia, and this is why he is a hypocrite to the Muslims. But look what they, the Muslims, they do not know what this guy is doing. This guy is not getting Christianity busted as they think. They are calling him to prove that Jesus is God or not, but the fact by answering, he proved Muhammad to be a false, big, fat liar. And this is how stupid those Abduls are. <clears throat> this guy, he lives in Indonesia. He is doing business there. He sells jewelry and he lives there. So we understand why he is being hypocrite to the Muslims. So now he will do his best to explain why Jesus cannot be the Messiah. What? He cannot be the Messiah. Why? He want to explain to you that in Isaiah chapter 9, it does not talk about the Messiah. Okay? But does it stop here? No. He even proved to you by his special intelligence that your prophet Muhammad was a big fat liar when he said that Jesus is born of a virgin. Listen and love. Like the mythical founder of Rome, Romulus was said to be born of a virgin and God. Pythagoras, the philosopher, was said to be born of a virgin. Octavius, Caesar Augustus, the adopted son of Julius Caesar, was said to have been was the son of God and that he was born. I mean, this is the like Hercules was said to have been conceived by a relationship between Zeus and and his mother. So <laughs> what happened is as Christianity was leaving Jerusalem and moving toward Athens, it was adopting the ideas that had emerged from Greece rather than from Yerushalayim. But once the church would adopt the, the belief that Jesus was conceived supernaturally, that means he didn't have a human Jewish father to trace his genealogy back to Aaron or to King David, and therefore is ineligible to be the Messiah. It's one of the interesting things that here's a Christian doctrine that would emerge, let's say in the 80s of the first century. Let me get you busted, Abdul. <clears throat> Isn't it the Old Testament said that David said, speaking of the Messiah, that the Lord will sit in the right, the, say, say, the Lord said to my Lord, my Lord Jehovah, sit in my right. So how stupid you are to say that this is something the Christians they come with. Secondly, if Jesus is not born of a virgin and the Jews, they come with this translation for this verse in the Bible, where in Isaiah 7, 14, they say <clears throat> that the word alama is a word mean the alama is a word mean a young woman a young woman they say that the christian they translate this word as a word mean version but look how stupid the interpretation of the those who rejected jesus will be because he is speaking about a sign a miracle will be given to you and if the miracle is a woman who is young she is giving birth that is not a miracle my friend because she is a woman to make it simple for you, as long you agree that she is a woman in your own translation, so it doesn't matter if she is young, actually, if she is old, 
that can be a miracle as what happened to the wife of Abraham but as long as she is young and she is a woman she what is the miracle do you have a stupid their, their, their interpretation let us say for the sake of argument you are right it says young alama young woman huh all right so what is the miracle there's no miracle she is young and she's a woman all young women they can give birth <laughs> all the women cannot a woman she is in her 60 she cannot a woman she is in her 70 it's impossible so you know as as long as you are saying this is a young woman she is given birth so where is the sign because in Isaiah chapter 17 7 verse 14 says that this woman this is a miracle this is a sign from God so if a woman she gave birth and she is young where is the sign where is the miracle there's many 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 women in young age you know they, they used to get married a lot earlier and they deliver children 13 14 sometimes 15 the different in the in the in the person so here you will see it says that this person he will be called his name is Emmanuel God with us now who is in Judaism he deserves such a name God is with us which means you are saying that God this is God and who is this woman who will give a child birth and she is young which will be a miracle God will give him a sign God will give him a sign sign here in the Hebrew is a miracle so in order to be a sign it had to be something unusual not a young women giving birth now as long as this guy he is explaining to us that the Messiah is not a son of a virgin birth so why the Muslims they love him and they worship him and they protect him and they give him all the support he want he just got Muhammad busted because Muhammad in his Quran is the one who says that Isa is the son of Mary and she is a virgin and this guy is saying to you that this is a big fat lie so he is saying Muhammad is a big fat liar as simple as that listen carefully between Zeus and his mother my friend your prophet Muhammad he got that from Zeus so what happened is as and widely believed in the greco roman world mm. famous individuals like the mythical founder of rome romulus romulus muhammad he got that from romulus was said to be born of a virgin uh -huh. and god pythagoras the Pythagoras, see he, he not muhammad is learning from those your prophet muhammad is a scam my friend and you are calling him you support him you like him you you think he is the best for you? He just got your prophet busted. Let us go to the Quran and love together. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> oh boy! Let us see what Muhammad he said. I will let Muhammad. You see, to be a singer is going to get Muhammad busted, and Muhammad will get to be a singer busted. Any Muslim you choose to support who? Your beloved rabbi or your beloved child molester Muhammad. I don't know. I mean, you choose what I can say. This is not my business. All of you Muslims, you support this guy. You could post in his videos for us to prove to us that we are wrong. Okay, here we go. Come, you know, time to come. All right, here we go. And chapter 19, verse number 20. This is your stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad versus the yellow pages of a. Uh, 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 to be a, a singer <clears throat> she said when shall i have a boy when no man he touched me actually you know uh, uh, it doesn't say here by the way it doesn't say that it says there's no man touch me and i am not a whore you see the muslim saying i have been unchaste nor i have been a chest this is not true in arabic it says which means i was not a hooker And then Allah said to Mary, well, this is how Allah, he want. He want you to have a son without a father. But the scumbag to Eva Sengar saying to you Muslims that you're a prophet. Muhammad is a big fat liar. And he copied that from the Roman and from the Greek mythology. Now, I am not the one saying that. Let me, let me, let me play that for you, please. I want everybody to download this video and share it around. Muslims, they love this rabbi.
they support him they call him they post his video everywhere but this guy is saying it clearly by the way he never said muhammad is a false prophet but here we go he just did he just did you don't dare to mention it but by denying that isa or jesus is a son of a virgin mary he just admitted that muhammad and denying that isa is the messiah muhammad he said this is the messiah muhammad he says that this is the messiah Singer, he says the Messiah is not come yet. The Messiah, he is not there. So the Jews are still waiting for the Messiah. So I want to say to the all the Muslims, when you speak to a Jew, remember, he don't believe the Messiah, he come yet, which means he believed that your prophet is a scumbag. So you are being stupid when you come to me and you say to me that we are going to show you what a rabbi says about your Bible, proving us right. He's not proving you right. He's proving you wrong. Or every Jew who don't accept Christianity, he believes that there is no Messiah yet. In chapter 3, verse number 45, it says, When the angel said, O Maryam, surely Allah gave you a good news. A word from him whose name is the Messiah, Isa, the son of Maryam. But your guy, Rabbi Toriva Singer, the businessman in Indonesia, this is why he's a hypocrite to the Muslims. He don't believe that this is the Messiah. He believe whoever said that this is the Messiah is a liar, including your prophet and the Quran. And here he's insulting your prophet, saying it clearly that whoever believe that and whoever say that Jesus or Isa was born of a virgin is a liar and that is your prophet Muslims philosopher was said to be born of a virgin Octavius Caesar Augustus the adopted son of Julius Caesar well I want you to go to check all the names you will see and you and you will laugh at, at, the, at the lies they fabricate you can check all the names and you will see what they are talking about Caesar was said to have been was the son of God and that he was born I mean this is the like Hercules was said to Hercules have been too. conceived by a relation right. between Zeus and his mother. So what happened is as Christianity was leaving. You see how he, how, how, he, how stupid he is. He just said by relationship by Zeus and his mother. Do the Christian believe that God have relationship with Mary? I mean, who is the donkey here? How we are saying, how we are debating about Mary being a virgin, your donkey. And you say that Zeus, he have relationship with the mother of Hercules. Donkey, I mean certified one. Continue. In Jerusalem and moving toward Athens, it was adopting the ideas that had emerged from Greece rather than from Yerushalayim. But once the church would adopt the, the belief that Jesus was conceived supernaturally, that means he didn't have a human jewish father to trace his genealogy back to aaron or to king david and therefore is ineligible to be the messiah it's one of the interesting things oh hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on first of all you cannot be the messiah unless you are belong to david uh, this is first of all first of all uh this is showing us that this guy he do not know the old testament and he never read the old testament If we go in the Old Testament, not in the New Testament, not in, not in the New Testament. I will not go to the New Testament yet. In order to be the Messiah, you have to be from David. If he is from David, then how David he called the Messiah Lord, you idiot. If I go right now to a Jewish... Uh, uh, I will open a Jewish, uh, Jewish Bible. Give me a second. Here we go.
Uh, let's see, open. I'm trying to find just uh, a, a Jewish Bible. All right. This is the this is a Jewish website, as you see in the front of you. And here, this is their own translation. All right. Now, the Lord said unto my Lord, Who is the Lord of David? Who is saying to the Lord of David? Now, we have two lords of David. And he is speaking about the Messiah. You know, when Jesus, he asked the Jews, What do you say? What do you say of the Messiah? And this is in Matthew chapter 22, verse number 44. The Jews, they said, well, he is the son of David. Then Jesus, he answered them and he said, well, if he is the son of David, then how David call him my Lord? Let's see if I can get you the... Uh, Aramaic Bible because you know the, here the, the, the Jews they always they try to fabricate stories and they try to say that oh, it's only in Hebrew how we can understand the, the, the but they forgot and but this guy he was saying why the Christian don't teach their children's uh, Hebrew why you don't teach your children Aramaic there's a huge part of the of the Old Testament is in Aramaic it's not in Hebrew you're a hypocrite now, oh. if we open the Aramaic Bible, we will find the following. This is what the verse is saying. <clears throat> this is the translation of the Aramaic Bible, which actually I find a very, very, very good and accurate and give better uh, uh, meaning for the Bible. Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, sit in my right hand until I still until I put your enemy as a stool uh, for your feet. Lord Jehovah will send uh, etc. You can read the rest. So here you will see this is the correct translation of the Bible. Now, when Jesus asked them, What do you say of the Messiah? If we go to Matthew chapter 22, if we read it from verse, let us say, uh, uh uh, let us say read actually let me take the number of uh, how we can take the numbers here off let us do this <clears throat> actually i like i like to read this in in the to show you how good it is when you read it in our in the in the Aramaic uh, uh, version. Let me show you. Hold on. Okay. Give me a second. <clears throat> All right. Here you will see in the Bible when Jesus said to the Jews, the Jews they did not give the answer of Mr. Uh, to, to Weaver, who is a hypocrite man, and he is exposing Muhammad, which I like very much. Uh, the Pharisees were assembled. Uh, Yeshua asked them, and he said, "What are you saying about the Messiah?" This man he just said to us, "In order to be the Messiah, which is the Jews speak of, you have to be the son of David." And this is because you're stupid. And look how the Messiah he got you busted. Look what he said. Who is son is he? They are. They were saying, "He is the son of David." He said to them. And how David by the Spirit called him the Lord Jehovah, for he said, The Lord Jehovah said to my Lord, 
sit at my right hand until I place your enemy under your feet therefore uh, uh, David called him jo the Lord Jehovah how he is how is he his son do you see the answer and the one who got you busted is someone who speak Hebrew for sure better than you and the Pharisees who are a real rabbi not like you they could not answer him so my friend I'm very glad that you are exposing Muhammad and you just said that Muhammad is a liar when he said that Isa or Jesus is a son of a virgin and when you agree that the one the Christians they believe in and the Muslims believe in his name is Isa as the Messiah is a lie and you as a Jew still waiting for the Messiah Isa is not born of a virgin it's a big fat lie you said and Muhammad obviously is a scammer who is copying it from the Greek mythology as you said in the Greco-Roman world famous individuals like the mythical founder of Rome Romulus was said to be born of a virgin and God Pythagoras the philosopher was said to be born of a virgin Octavius Caesar Augustus the adopted son of Julius Caesar was said to have been was the son of God and that he was born I mean this is the like Hercules was said to have been conceived by a relation <laughs> anyway and we are done with this I just wanted to show you how the Muslims are stupid when they call this guy asking him to get the Christian buster but the fact he is exposed exposing Islam but because he's hypocrite he said to them assalamu alaikum I love you brother we respect the Prophet Muhammad but everyone knows that the second you say you are a Jew it's mean you don't accept Muhammad the second you say you are a Christian you don't accept Muhammad and the second you, you say you are a Jew you don't accept even the Messiah to be the Messiah so a Jew he refused to in the same time he refused the message of Christianity and he refused the message of Islam included so how is stupid of you Muslims to prove to us something coming from someone he reject your prophet and he consider you a scumbag and he consider you a liar when he claimed that this is the Messiah which is rejected in Judaism the Jews of today and rejected to be that the Messiah is a son of a virgin so you have two burden on you Muslims you are asking your enemy to prove you right and this is how stupid you are the enemy who is an enemy to Muhammad according to the Quran an enemy when I say an enemy I mean the Muslim they literally they believe in him as an enemy for me I don't believe it the Jews are my enemies for a very simple reason 99.9% .9 of the Jews already they are Christians what is left over is no one and sooner or later all of Israel will become a Christian and count my words and this is why they are angry from Christianity because because of us nothing left of what they have we have my Jews remember that all the Christians who believe in Jesus from the start they were Jews so we love the Jews for a very simple reason if not them we will not even know Jesus they are the one who carry the message for us they are the one who deliver the message to us and this one is just trying to resist the truth waiting for the Messiah they are waiting for a Messiah will come in the 21st century riding a donkey this is what they are waiting for they are waiting for a messiah he will enter jerusalem in the top of, of a donkey and you know i mean they they have their own madness wait for a messiah you know that we are in the airplane times and etc and it's still the thing the messiah did not come oh i have no comment <laughs> keep waiting let me know by the way when he show up all right anyway guys thank you very much uh, and I am glad that Mr. Tuiva Singer he exposed Muhammad. Please download the video, share it everywhere, and I will post it right away in uh, Skype. Sorry, in uh, uh, in Facebook, so people and Muslims they will support him for real from now on. The man who will laugh at Muhammad for saying Jesus is a son of a virgin. Thank you very much. And if you like to learn more, if you are a Muslim, Abdul or a Jew, you will learn about the funny Islam. Please feel free to read my books. You can get them from Amazon. And if you don't have money, ask to weave a singer to donate for you. He is a Jew and he loved the Prophet Muhammad very much. <laughs> All right. Take care, guys, and see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye bye.